Okay, friends, so just a little bit of a check-in here. I'm, um, uh, <clears throat> Mondays, the way I themed the trips are, um, what I call Art Mondays. Just another art-filled Monday. That's a famous song, in case you don't know that one. Just another art-filled Monday. Although the original singers sound better than I do. <clears throat> so I'm looking at my schedule over here to keep track of what I'm saying. <clears throat> um, and so uh, what I did was I went out onto the internet, <clears throat> safely, social distancing, <clears throat> and took a look at possible places for us to go to um, together or independently or by yourself, or you could, if you like the place, you could go again. If you don't like it, give it a try. Don't stop right away, give it two or three minutes to see, um, and maybe you'll change your mind. I have themed trips for each of the days. <clears throat> and Monday is just another art-filled Monday. Thank you, the Bengals, for that hit song. And so today, um, there is <clears throat> two, there are two options. <clears throat> um, they're both based around drawing. I think you would say drawing in your Washington speak. Um, drawing is how we would say it from New York City. So two different drawing trips. The first one is a learn to draw Wild Washington. It's through the Burke Museum. It's an interesting um, uh, idea and a project. And the idea is to look around us from inside, from your screen, or from stepping outside into your front yard or backyard or porch or um, downstairs <clears throat> from your apartment and then take a look around you and notice what is nature, and then do some drawing about that. And they can, of course, be big things like you know, trees and mountains and sky that you can see, or if you zero in and look closely, you might see things like ants on the ground or petals on a flower or, or leaves on a stem. Interesting things to take time and draw larger shapes like geometry, but also small details like the veins in a leaf or the um, stripes that you see on the tentacles of a snail. There were several on my plants this morning. <clears throat> um, and so that's the first one. <clears throat> Learn to draw Wild Washington at the Burke Museum. The second one is um, five drawing ideas from the Getty Museum in California, in Los Angeles. <clears throat> Very famous museum with a beautiful collection. I've never been, but I've seen lots of their references online. And so it's um, five different drawing ideas that kind of articulate, yet are also um, kind of connect with um, the Burke Museum, but also differently. So I hope you'll take a look at those and then certainly take a look at the other things we have today, some word work, uh, some, um, uh, I will be doing a nation. There's a program called I Know My Nation that I started um, a number of years ago for the students in my school, where we learn about U.S. history. And so each of the days of our summer slide forward into first grade. <clears throat> I have a read aloud connected to um, someone or something important in our nation's history. Uh, and then I, ha I have a fun read aloud that I um, have chosen. There are ones that I have read before that students liked. And so then there will be other things added in by other teachers and uh, I hope you'll stay and enjoy them. Be safe, seat belts on, enjoy your trip to two drawing adventures. Thank you.